Hello everyone, another note on the dress code for davening. I saw something recently at a Mincha Minyan that I personally was so bothered by that I wrote a note to myself that if in two weeks I'm still bothered by it, I'll share it with you. And indeed it's been two weeks, I'm still bothered by it, and I'd like to share what I saw. I saw a gentleman come into shul, and he was wearing his Bluetooth. Now, I absolutely judge him favorably, and I believe he wears his Bluetooth all day. It's a Bluetooth that goes around your head, has an antenna here, has something over there, and he probably didn't notice that it was still on. However, I believe that it's something that we have to try to remember to remove before davening, because it looks like you're connected to your phone much more than the sitter. It looks like you're trying to connect to your cell much more than to God. And I believe that this is not the way you should come before God in davening. Regardless of how you dress for davening, everyone agrees it's to befit a prime minister or a king or a president. And I believe any of the above, if you would meet them, you would not wear an antenna around your head that's trying to indicate whatever you might say, the phone is more important. Once again, I believe this gentleman didn't even notice that he had it on, but I believe it teaches us something regardless how to come to davening. We can't come to davening and not notice, not notice if we're dirty or clean and not notice what we're wearing. Rav Soloveitchik once said that it's absolutely forbidden to daven in your boots on a rainy day because you wouldn't come into a home wearing dirty boots. You would obviously remove them. And I believe all the more so regarding a Bluetooth, which leads me to the second thing I saw that I believe was even more objectionable than the first. A gentleman was listening to laning. He was shuckling. He even had a talus over his head. But this is what he was doing. He was listening to a WhatsApp message. Literally, I can't use my phone because I'm recording. If this was my phone, he was listening to his phone and chuckling, trying to hear the WhatsApp message. And since the laning was disturbing him, he tried to distance himself from the bima so he would hear his phone more clearly. Once again, the phone is an amazing invention. A Bluetooth saves lives when you drive. And all of the above should be used. However... During davening, I believe it is absolutely forbidden to wear your Bluetooth on your head, let alone listen to messages as the laning is going on. Whatever dress code you have for davening, I believe these two indicate that the phone is far more important than what's happening in shul. And at least for the few minutes we're in shul, we have to show that what's happening in shul is far more important than the phone. Wishing everyone a wonderful and substantial day.